You are watching Life on Gabriela TV, community television for you, by you. Well, good morning, everybody. Good morning. Well, no, I always feel funny about coming to another island and saying, Welcome to the Gabriella Island. Look, trust me, because I'll just welcome myself. You guys all live here. <laughs> and it's just a real pleasure for me to be able to come here and be in your community. And uh, for those of you who don't know, Peter Luckham, I'm elected on the Sound, chair of Trust Council, and chair of the LTC here. And it's a beautiful, believe it or not, early fall day. And I'm uh, so grateful for that. Um, of course, we're here meeting in Sanema uh, territory and uh, all up and down the uh, just area where I live, I actually in Malkin territory um, every day. That's meaningful and important to me. And I think that we all need to reflect upon um, the place that we live and occupy and play and love and everything that we do. And, uh, and that indeed the history here of the colonial settlement has not been. Um, very kind to nations, but we were welcomed so warmly with open arms. And so let's always consider that. Um, with me today, today, of course, is your locally elected trustees, Susan Ames. Thank you, Chair Lackham. I would also like to make an acknowledgement, an acknowledgement. Um, do you want to go first, Toby? Okay. Thank you. So last month, I had the pleasure of attending the Sunshine Coast Festival of Literary Arts. And two authors I heard, First Nations authors. One was Angela Sterrett. Some of you may know her as a CBC reporter. And her book is called Unbroken, My Fight for Survival, Hope, and Justice for Indigenous Women and Girls. And it was such a powerful presentation that many in the audience left weeping. And then the next day, I was so fortunate to see Jody Wilson Rabel talk about her most recent book called True Reconciliation, How to Be a Force for Change. So they were, I really took a lot back with me from those presentations, but significantly for the work that we do for council, um, for the Honest Trust Conservancy, and for our local trust committee, when asked by audience members what non-Indigenous people should do to honor reconciliation, Ms. Sterrett responded with some urgency, stand up and say something when you witness racism. She also reminded people in the audience, which were, yeah, the audience were several hundred, by the way, it was a pretty big venue. She reminded people to believe our story. That was pretty. So with the beginning of the school year, I'm back volunteering at the school again. And I think about what First Nations elders and parents, how they would have passed on their knowledge to their children. That seems really important to me. And I think about my obligations to future generations quite often when I'm at school and about being a better ancestor. Um, and maybe about sharing stories with children that help us be better ancestors to think about ways that we can care for each other and for this place that we call home um, as if we truly belong here, as if we truly belong in this place. Toby? Good morning, everyone. I'm Chair Lachan. My name is Toby Elliott. Um, and thank you for that beautiful acknowledgement introduction. Um, I as well want to affirm support for not only the Declaration Act that BC signed into law in 2019, but the Islands Trust's own reconciliation declaration signed in this room in uh, March on March 14, 2019, in which our organization committed to a path of acknowledging the wrongs, the historic wrongs that have been committed and the decision-making that has been done predicated on a faulty and flawed understanding of underlying rights and title in the territories of the more than 30 nations uh, in the Islands Trust area on whose land we live and work and play. 
And when I was campaigning to be elected to this body last year, I wrote a reconciliation mandate for myself, uh, September 2nd, 2022. And I'll just read out a portion of it if, if to, with your indulgence, because it is what guides my decision making. And I read it through this morning and it's still true today. It's like, I was like, oh, this is my North Star. This is what will be my bedrock in decisions that are when it gets tough. So I fully support the trust commitment to reconciliation and deepening relationships with First Nations people. The current trust policy statement, which guides community processes and decision making, has never acknowledged the rights, concerns, or ongoing relationship with Indigenous peoples with the lands and waters in the trust area. I fully endorse the work done. The work being done by the current term of trustees, this was last term, to rectify this and bring the trust policy statement into alignment with the TRC's calls to action. It is critical that the very special relationship, that's the name of the First Nation, and other First Nations have to Gabriola, Mudge, and De Corsi, is protected and supported in practice as well as in law. That Indigenous rights to access their sacred areas, burial sites, harvesting areas, and places of spiritual significance and renewal on the islands are respected. I would work to ensure all agencies and ministries conform to heritage protection for sites that are significant to Sinema First Nation and follow the conservation policies and principles as outlined by the Islands Trust and First Nations governments and now Declaration Act. And I'll close with the words of a uh, former trustee, Dan Rogers, who was chair of this LTC, and some remarks he made March 2021 to Trust Council, <clears throat> because I think they get to the metal of the principles that guide our work today. <clears throat> our commitment to reconciliation comes not from a dictate or directive in the act, but rather from the legal and moral imperative to recognize and understand the history of this area to reject colonial attitudes and to travel the path to reconciliation. The trust has been remiss in its history of recognizing the history and heritage of indigenous peoples in this area and has set about on a path of understanding and reconciliation. Thank you. Thank you, Toby. You are watching Life on Gabriela TV, community television for you, by you.